Welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's video we are playing solo. I got a bunch of 1v3 and 1v2 scenarios that happen throughout the game and it's sort of similar to what I did with that Octane coaching video a couple weeks ago. Uh, so I kind of talked through the, the 1v3 situations and I think you guys will learn a thing or two from it. But before we get into that I do feel like I need to say this because there's going to be a million comments that happen. Uh, why am I by myself? Why did I separate from the team? The reason is because of this. Everybody just wants to go Skull Town over and over and over and over and over. There's like 30, 40 people going Skull Town almost every single game at this point. And I was just tired of it. I, I was like, I don't want to go Skull Town every single game. So I split from my team, who, of course, went Skull Town. Uh, uh, you know, I uh, called it. And uh, I did my own thing, and it turned out really, really well. So I think you'll learn a thing or two about playing solo. And uh, the game ended up turning out pretty well, too. So. With that said, thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do hope you enjoy, and I will see you on the next one. All right, I guess we're going on a solo mission. I did pick containment for the boys, but I wasn't Jumpmaster, unfortunately. I assume they're probably going to go Skull Town. Teammate does have Skull in his name, so uh, Here we go. seems fitting. I do know that there is a 99 and a Wingman and Blue Armor in this house. And I do have a team here. I can hear them to my west. More southwest-ish. Alright, let's see what we can see about this team. Okay, that's a Gibraltar. Using grapple. Firing. Firing. Enemy down. Okay, so Gib has white. Bangalore has nothing. I gotta find out where his third teammate is. Before we kind of figure out the situation. Okay, there he is right there. I'm gonna take high ground. So they're really split. I want to try to bait him to come up on the roof. Oh, that's perfect. He's probably gonna come out the side door. I guarantee it. Like a book, man. So you want to try to turn it into three separate 1v1s whenever you're trying to solo. Out. I can hear the Bangalore behind me, and I know the Mirage is still down there somewhere. There we go. And now the Mirage is probably pushing. Yep. That was perfect. So when you're when you're trying to fight a team by yourself. You want to position yourself in a way that you can take three separate 1v1s without getting shot at from everywhere at the same time. It's hard to explain, and every situation is different. But, like, what I did with that Gibraltar was, like, that, would, that couldn't have been better. So the Mirage was down low. I had eyes on him. He wasn't pushing. I know the Bangalore was directly underneath me. And I knew where the Gibraltar was up top. So baiting that Gibraltar to come through that door to challenge the 1v1 was like, that was that couldn't have been better. It looks like the boys are handling their own Skull Town too. That's nice. I'll, uh, I'll work my way over there probably. They're looking pretty healthy too. They might even get out. Mm, there's fighting right in front of me too. All right, I'm going to push whatever is going on over here on my way to Skull Town and meet up with the boys. Got to try to get into this before they heal. Reloading. There was a guy on my right. There he is. Okay, so because there's so many hills here, bamboozled. Okay, because there's so many hills here, I think there's only two. There could be three, but what I want to do is, is I always want to cover my angles with the hill. So there's only uh, there's only one person that can shoot at me at a time. So I'm forcing a one v one. I am taking fire. 
Nice. Alright, well that was a little easier because there was only two. But if there was a third, playing that way is like, if you, if you, if there's a guy on your left, and there's a hill on your left, the guy on the left can't shoot you, right? So then you can focus the guy on the right while your left is covered. You always want to think about stuff like that, because you can't get shot at two angles at the exact same time, otherwise it's, it's probably going to be a rip. And speaking of which, we are down a teammate. But I'm probably gonna be able to actually get over there, I think. Still got a full minute, and I do have the balloon. Okay. Video game, let me through the window. Okay. So I should be able to get to them. I'm gonna hit this balloon. The storm moves really, really slow on that side of the map because the circle pulls so far. So I should have no problem grabbing their banner. No problems at all. As long as nobody's on their bodies. If there's a team on their bodies, it's gonna complicate things, but we'll do we'll do what we can. We'll do what we can. I can hear them fighting like crazy. Alright. Even though there's a bunch of fighting going on, the smarter play in this situation would be to push that fight while they're still fighting to be the third party. But I'm going to be a nice teammate, even though my teammates wanted to land Skulltown and you're basically calling for death. I'm going to res them first. I'm going to res them first and then we're going to go back and see what we can do. They can probably even hit their bodies again, honestly. We'll see if these guys push this way. Unfortunately, now, they're all going to be full health. The reason that it makes more sense to fight... I get I get comments like this all the time, and I feel like I have to say this. It makes more sense to fight first, because if two teams are fighting, they're going to be weak. They're going to be low on resources. There's a guy there. Hold on. Teams are going to be low on resources, right? So you could get a quick third party in and you could actually wipe that team. But now I'm probably going to have this full team. Oh, that guy has purple. The re I assume the rest are going to have purple. And now it's just going to be a much more difficult fight. And it is no more difficult because it's a third party. Alright, we gotta get in back there because I saw a guy knocked. Gotta push this guy in the back. Don't worry, team, I'm coming. I'm coming. I assume he's in the building. I'm gonna go in here. Right through the top, maybe catch him off guard. I hear him healing. He's gotta be up to the right. Clean. There we go. Easy peasy. See, third parties are way easier, even if you're solo. That team was kitted. They all had purple and whatnot. So, like, hypothetically, if that team would have pushed us instead of, let's say, let's say right there that that third team wasn't there and it was only me and that full team, to one v three that team would have been much more difficult than if I would have just third partied it to begin with. Does that make sense? But it is what it is. We got out alive and brought the teammates back. So we move forward. I assume there's probably going to be team right in front of me. Usually there is a team like gatekeeping right here. At least in the last few games I've played, there has been. Hmm. Nothing, and I don't hear anything. There we go. They are at containment. Actually, they might even be in that alley. No, they're definitely at containment. Alright, we gotta get there before that fight ends.
Make it for you. Might be something good this Bad ping, good ping, I don't know. But there's a make it over there for the boy. Ice pop one. Oh, okay. So I know there's a Bangalore down low. She's running to the middle right now. Okay, Bangalore and Watson. It's important to, to remember who's who and where they are. So Bangalore's probably going to be wrapping underneath, and the Watson's going to be with her. So wherever their third teammate is, there it is, Octane. Ooh, nice shots. He's pushing. Just take glitch the box. That was perfect. Nice. All right. Well, there we go. That was that was clean. Even if the team wasn't there, I think I would have been able to handle that perfectly because I knew that the Watson and the Bangalore were underneath. And if that that Octane challenged me in that one v one right there, it would have taken them too much time to climb up. I would have had time to recoup or reposition, and I definitely would have been able to play that. That was good. That was good. And now we only have one team left. Where might they be? It's always good to assume that they heard your gunshots. So I'm going to guess that they got to be somewhere near us. Because usually when teams hear gunshots, they're going to go towards the gunshots, right? And you can hear you can hear shots from so far away. So I'd be surprised if they weren't over here somewhere. Although I do not hear or see anything. It's always something good to have in the back of your mind though. Like if you just got if you just finished a fight, always assume that the other team is gonna be like right there. In this instance, uh, that is not quite what is happening. That's okay though. That's okay. That means uh the teammates can get up close and we can play this last one together. Let's see if I can see something. Hmm. Oh, okay. You saw him over the Mirage? I didn't see anything when I looked over there. I don't hear anything either, unless they're like sitting in that house now or something. I don't think they're over there. I think we were bamboozled. We got bamboozled by our own mirage, dude. Already in the next ring. I smell victory. That smells like Mmm. Okay, there we go. Enemy spotted. So the reason that I knew that they're over there is because I heard the Arc Star blow up. And I saw it come from over there, and I didn't hear an audio cue from RT. Oh, there they are. They're on the care package. Yeah, when, you're, when your teammates throw grenades, there's an audio cue for it. And I heard grenades blowing up. And there was no audio cue, so. I think there's only two of them. Alright, get them, boys. My little Skull Town warriors, go get them! Arc Star out. Look at the strafe on him, dude! My man's was wiggling like a little noodle. Shout out to that lifeline. I don't know who you are, but that little strafe you had. That threw me for a whirl. All right, there we go. Nice. Good game. Good game. You and it wasn't a Skull Town game. But we still kind of sort of went Skull Town, I guess. We like touched it a little bit. That was a good one. That was basically solo. Nice.